Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Come on, y'all. Let's do this again. We're excited. We're at a ribbon cutting. Let's get excited about that. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, yes. That's what I love to hear. My name is Reginald Moore, director of Baltimore City Recreation and Parks. I am so excited to be here at another ribbon cutting. My capital chief quickly remind me, he said, we've been doing a lot of swimming pools, rec centers, and uh, playgrounds. It's nice to be in a park to do in a, a ribbon cutting at a park event. So, Adam, you're absolutely right. We're so excited to be here at Riverside Park. Uh, we have several speakers today. I'm not going to take too much time. I want to get our first speaker up. I think he's he needs no introduction. Um, his basketball team was lucky last night. They won the, I guess they won the championship last night. I think he reminded me quickly. He sent me a text last night to remind me. But please help me in welcome to, to the mic, Mayor Brandon Scott. Thank you, uh, uh, Director Moore. And yes, uh, my basketball team, coached by Baltimore's own Sam Cassell, did win the NBA Finals last night. And yes, I expect my Coco's Crab Cake from you sometime this week. <laughs> but I am excited to be here uh, today, here in Riverside, to celebrate the revitalization of one of our city's great parks. I want to uh, first acknowledge our elected official who is joining us today, our delegate, Luke Klibbencher, and for always doing his hard work. Give kudos again. Yeah, let's give Luke a big round of applause. I'll get to more of that later, delegate. I want to also acknowledge the team at Reckon Parks, uh, Director Moore, Adam, their entire team who's been doing this great work and showing leadership across the city, uh, starting to renovate and provide high quality, state-of-the-art recreational spaces and services that benefit the overall well-being of our residents. And this is the latest example of that. We were just uh, Mr. Delegate in Cherry Hill, opening a brand new outdoor Cherry Hill pool just yesterday. Uh, I wish we had a water slide here because we definitely could use it today. As I always say, every resident, no matter their neighborhood, should have access to world-class, high-quality recreational spaces. Our parks are very important because they provide residents with places to safely congregate while enjoying uh, the city's beautiful green spaces. Public parks offer many benefits to metropolitan areas because they can help create safer neighborhoods, enhance community realization, foster economic growth, strengthen community engagement, promote public health through leisure activities, and provide free activity options for families. Here at Riverside Park, we saw that need for much improvement, so we worked and worked and worked uh, to make them happen. As someone who was caught over 100 touchdown passes in the mud out here, uh, I know exactly how the neighborhood felt for many, many years. Any time it rained, the field was basically unusable. And this is a long overdue renovation. But as a result of that persistence, Riverside uh, now features a renovated basketball court that I already christened with the first three-pointer, a standalone pickleball court. And as we know, pickleball is really growing in its popularity across the country and here in Baltimore. Irrigated, regulation size, softball diamond, multi-purpose fields, uh, terrace bleacher seating, and uh, something very important here in Riverside, ADA accessible walk so that everyone is able to enjoy the action that is sure to happen here at Riverside. But I can't, uh, I'll be very remiss if I did not uh, talk about how this particular project would not have been possible without the support of the tireless advocacy and bringing home the beyond meat in this case for me of the entire 46 district team fighting alongside for this project in annapolis to secure funding so i want to shout out uh, uh senate president ferguson uh, delegate lewis delegate idelson but also delegate clipperton who is here us today and say thank you uh for your hard work yeah let's give them a big round of applause because this project is a shining example of what we mean when we say we are committed to working together in partnership to usher in a new era in recreation. One is equipped with the high quality facilities and state of the art spaces that our neighborhoods have always deserved. Uh, these brand new amenities definitely meet that mark. We are witness what happens when we come together. Uh, Riverside, congratulations on your new renovated park. I already christened the basketball court. I look forward to coming back this fall to christen the football field with a touchdown. Uh, and continuing to work and upgrade many, many, many recreational spaces throughout the city of Baltimore. And with that, I will turn it over to my friend, your delegate, our delegate, Lou Clippinger. Mr. Delegate. 
Thank you very much. It's always a good day to be in Riverside Park. It's always a good day to be uh, to see so many of my neighbors here. I live here in, in Riverside on Webster Street. It has been so long that we've waited for, for these improvements to be made in the fields behind me and the court here. This is an absolutely fantastic day and I do thank the mayor, Mayor Scott, and everyone at, at Parks and Recreation for all of the work that, that has been done here. We were able to help uh, in Annapolis getting some of the funding for, for this important project. And it, it's because of the work of the Senate President, Senator Ferguson, and myself, Delegate Lewis, even Delegate Edelson got to, still he's new, but you know, he got to help a little bit. And, and, and uh, we were able to, to, to help uh, get the support for this park and so many parks across the 46th district. You mentioned the new pool in, the new pool in Cherry Hill. We have new improvements going on all over town and it's been so important to all of the neighborhoods across, across the district. Um, I want to give uh, you know Jackson a, a shout out. I think he should be made to speak an incredible amount because there we go. he he's the mayor. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. This is the mayor of Riverside Park. I, I, there are many mayors. I'm that, that's fine. And the amount of work that you do right. every single day here in this park should be recognized by everybody here and people beyond. Thank you very much for everything you do, and thank you for helping to bring this project uh, to a conclusion. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we made it. We got to the we got to the end and it is a fantastic day down here at Riverside. I, we are so excited and you can see by the kids, they're not waiting for us. They're, they're already out there. Um, this park has been uh, one of the staples of the community. Um, the walking around this this park and, and hearing the stories of people growing up in this area and the experiences they had in this on this on these athletic fields. Um, I, I I run into people and, and and they are so excited about the new facilities, about the, the renovations. This park is like a like an old stuffed animal that that has been loved and loved and loved and it really needed some kind of retooling and some some renovation and and this work that we see today um has has been many years in the works but it is it is now done and we get to enjoy the new jet the new version of riverside park um the uh when adam and the team came many years ago and asked us you know what is it what are the uses what do you guys need you know trying to explain the the kind of range of things that go on out here you have your usual soccer you have basketball you have baseball you have now we have pickleball but we have things like we have guys practicing fly fishing we have people who decide to try caber tossing on the backfield here um We've, we've had kind of random assortments of things out here, but it has really worked. And this is, this is one of those uh, areas and, and one of those institutions that really brings the community together. Um, I, would, I would like to thank all of the people involved. I'd like to thank the mayor because of his, his getting us to the finish line. You know, this, this, was, this was a many year project. I'd like to thank Adam for his design group and, and the fact that they really came up with something special that fits what we need. Um, I'd like to thank Luke and, and all the members of Team 46. Um, you know, we, have, we probably had six members of Team 46 that worked on this project. We probably had four mayors that have worked on this project. So it's, it's, it's wonderful to see it come to, uh, to conclusion and uh, we're excited to, to see, see how this progresses into the future. Thank you. All right. Truly, truly exciting day. Uh, I'm trying to skim through the notes right now because uh, a lot, of, a lot of things has been mentioned here. I just want to really take this time to thank each and every one of my uh, members of BCRP, uh, Adam Borman, Kayla Goldston, uh, South Baltimore Gateway Partnership for their, their contributions, but our engineers at RK and K, as well as our contractor McDonald Landscaping Inc. Those are the individuals that made this a reality for us today. 
But as I always say in every one of our projects, none of this is possible without the community. None of this is possible without elected officials. And I have to first start with Mayor Scott. Um, in my seven years being here, his commitment over these first four years, he put actions to words, right? Or words to actions. Um, he has continuously committed to the financial obligations to improve our recreational facilities. I think we're right now, Mayor, about 150 million plus in rec investments right now. So thank you for your continued support. Um, the District 46, Senator Ferguson, the entire team, um, regardless of w whenever we need things, they're always supportive. So thank you all. Uh, but Jackson, your entire community, thank you uh, for believing in our team, g being patient. Because sometimes with construction, it takes patience, right? Because there's many different challenges. So thank you, an entire community, for all the, the patience and also helping to design the wonderful facility that we have. So again, to the Riverside community, congratulations. I think, Adam, this is a job well done. On to our next project. Mayor Scott, I think we got another event this week. So we're really excited about just the work continuing. So thank you all for your support. And with that, Mayor, I think we'll open up if there's any questions. If there's no questions, yeah, no, they there's talk. none. They, okay, so with that being <laughs> said, Mr. Mayor, I think we can officially say that Riverside Park is open. We, we're going to get ready to cut this ribbon so we can um, make it official. So as soon as we get the ribbon, we're going to cut it. The mayor's already officially shot the first three. I don't know if he can make a half-court shot, but, you know, you know, I don't know about that, but... Don't